This is Jacques coming to you from Botswana, a slap bam in the center of Southern Africa. Yes, not a very well-known country, but this year Botswana will take center stage as once again the world's attention will be drawn to the plight of endangered wildlife in Africa when National Geographic filmmakers Derek and Beverly Hubert brings us all the way from one of the last authentic African wildernesses, the Okavongo Delta, the true story masterpiece, The Last Lions. For those of us that are passionate about Africa, we'll be immersing ourselves in those African scenes which we hold so dear and which we passionately love. And we'll be applauding Maritao in her battle for survival. And I believe a lot of people will be inspired and encouraged by this movie and people like the Ubast to do their bit for wildlife conservation, to be involved with the Big Cats initiatives and the anti-poaching rhino campaigns. But I can't help to wonder, how long do we really have? How long until they are gone forever? Are these possibly the last lions? But there's hope, there's always hope. We have hope when we see how many a tourist on safari is bitten by the African bug and returns again and again until their hearts are infected with a passion for Africa and its creatures. And then suddenly you find them becoming a mother or a father of lions and they become volunteers or they start investing in Africa. One such a story is the story of Limpopola Party Cayman Wilderness Reserve, which is about a thousand kilometers south of the hunting fields of Maritao in an area known as the Tuli Block of Botswana. Here on the banks of the Limpopo River, you will find a pristine biodiversity of African bush, saved from cattle farming and hunting by a group of passionate, like-minded investors from all over the world, including myself. Yes, Limpopola Party has a very ambitious vision to become a breeding basket or sanctuary for rare and endangered species, to preserve the land with a sustainable conservation focus alongside the community into the next generation. Imagine a place in Africa which you can call your conservation project, your rhino breeding herd, and then you know them by name, your African wild dog pack, your game reserve, even if you're not a world-renowned wildlife photographer or conservation expert. Imagine a place where you can bring your family and you can learn and you can grow into becoming such an expert. So if you have been touched by a story or a movie like The Last Lions or Africa has infected your heart a long time ago, we have to chat. Around the fire under the African sky with the music of the bush around us. And maybe, just maybe, that chat would result in another lion or another cheetah or another wild dog, or another rhino, for another generation. You know where to find me.